Invisia outperforms conventional concrete in terms of early strength, a shrinkage, crack control, finishability. Given its pumpability, workability and requirements for design, Invisia ultimately was the best outcome for the project. This project is uh, iconic from Western Australia. It's unique. We have not had a tunnel uh, like this to deliver rail infrastructure and to service the community for many, many years and it involved the Public Transport Authority, Salini NRW, the contractor to design and build it, subcontractors to deliver the track slab work, and ourselves and multiple suppliers. We had uh, at least five or six different parties involved. The biggest challenge for the track slab works that Martinez undertook on the project was naturally working within the confines of a tunnel working up to two kilometres from the discharge point when placing concrete and required a lot of collaboration. Before we started this project we'd done two trials. One was with Invisia, one was without. We found the one with Invisia decreased our concrete line pressure by 15%. So Invisia was definitely the right choice. The first challenge was keeping the concrete live for more than 90 minutes without hampering the properties of the concrete. The second challenge was we were using synthetic fibers which was 48 millimeters long in the concrete. And the third challenge was the profiling. It had a lot of slopes and cans in the structure and maintaining that level at that workability in the tunnel was the biggest challenge while designing this concrete. We were totally confident that Bartrip macrosynthetic fibre could be pumped 2,000 metres. It had met all the technical specifications required of the reinforcing and we also knew that it could be incorporated into a mix without any boiling issues. For me, the early engagement of the concrete contractor, uh, running through all the trials, analysing the actual mix itself, the performance, the placement of it, having the collaborative meetings to go through and fine tune the mix assured the success of the project. There's a fine balance between consistency and workability. Having the ability to pump the concrete up to two kilometres, but then being able to work that concrete and place the concrete, especially when you've got super elevated track within the tunnel and having concrete wanting to run to the low side of the tunnel, having that consistency right to be able to get the end product we were required. Our Invisia concrete actually gave superior results from a technical perspective and it was actually able to be pumped a lot easier than a conventional concrete. Something we didn't know at the time and we discovered through delivering this project. One more advantage what we got from Invisia was it's a sustainable concrete. With that we also got very low shrinkage which was the actual requirement of the concrete in this project and we achieved it very well. Being the first tunnel project in Perth is new challenges for everyone and required a lot of knowledge and learnings along the way. Ultimately the success was driven by all involved. I'm really looking forward to seeing this project and this rail in use for decades to come. To be part of such an iconic project, well, I'm really proud of that and I think all the people who have been involved in this project should be proud of what they've achieved.